In this video, we will explore the process of importing a model from other BIM software into Midas CIM and exporting it as an analysis model in Midas Civil. To show an example, we will use a PSC box bridge designed using software from company A. BIM softwares typically save models with their own extensions, such as CIMZ, RVD, PLN, etc. These extensions are mostly readable only by their respective programs. To exchange model information with other software, it's necessary to convert it to a common export and import extension. In the case of the software from company A, it can export models in 11 different extensions. Among them, five are readable by CIM. We will explain by dividing these into three groups. The first is the BIM Data Exchange Standard, IFC. This method allows the exchange of information conforming to IFC specifications, including names, materials, categories, and more. However, due to differences in modeling techniques between the two programs, there may be some variations in the representation of shapes. The second group is DWG and DXF files. These files cannot import attribute data like IFC, but they accurately represent the shapes of each object. The last group is OBJ and FBX files, which are imported into CIM only as graphic information. While they can accurately represent shapes, they cannot be selected and can only toggle visibility. Therefore, we recommend using these extensions purely for reference models. Depending on the purpose of your ongoing project, choose the appropriate extension. In this video, since the goal is analysis model, we will export the model as a DWG file allowing for object selection and accurate shape representation. Note that in the DWG export settings of Company A's program, you can choose between exporting as polymesh or solid. Choosing polymesh divides the objects into surface units when imported into CIM, so be sure to check the solid option. The exported DWG file can then be imported into CIM using the import function. For your reference, Company A's program can assign colors to objects based on their categories when exporting DWG files. Therefore, you may need to adjust the export settings or use CIM's assign function to re-specify colors. As shown in the video, objects imported into CIM from the DWG file come in as body objects without attribute data. Initially, hide lock all objects except those intended for the analysis model. Through the assign function, change all body objects to structural members. The modified objects now contain the necessary information for structural analysis, and they can be analysis model. Now, create the analysis model for girders, coping, and columns using the analysis line feature. Additionally, if you export the central lines from your working program, you can conveniently select analysis lines as demonstrated in the video. If central lines are not exported, you will need to manually draw analysis lines in the cross-sectional direction. After setting up the analysis lines, hide all objects except the bridge supports for elastic link settings. 
Elastic links should be created based on the vertices of 1D members, but objects imported from external DWG files are not 1D members. So create non-structural 1D members at the same height. Once created, you can set up elastic links using the vertices at both ends of the newly added 1D members. Finally, connect each elastic link and analysis line using rigid links. Now, export the analysis model by selecting both 1D members and boundary conditions. And increase the merge tolerance to address minor errors during the compatibility process. Once the analysis case is set, export it as the analysis model for Midas Civil. Verify that the shapes and links created in CIM are correctly imported. That's all for the tutorial on compatibility between other BIM software and Midas CIM and Civil. Thank you.